Water provides us life. So if we protect water, we're protecting life. Ensuring that we have this baseline data in our watersheds would then help us understand what we really need to do to protect that water as we go through this critical period of climate change. The Columbia Basin Water Hub was created to help water monitoring organizations collect, store, and share information about the health of the water in their communities in a structured and secure way. The Water Hub is a database, or the way I like to think about it, a library of water data within the Columbia Basin. It serves to provide reports, data sets, and studies around different water bodies, whether it be streams, lakes, groundwater, wetlands, or glaciers. We have collaborated with a variety of different organizations, everything from industry to community stewardship groups to government and First Nations receiving their feedback and ensuring that we're providing a valuable product rather than encumber people with uh, data management. Here at WASA, our concern with climate change has a lot to do with the volume of water that comes down the Kootenai River. We've been collecting river and lake water level data since 1996. We use that data in order to determine and project what the level of the lake will be so that people can prepare for flooding. Potentially, as there is less snow in the winter, we could have less spring freshet, which would mean that we would have a consistently lower level of water in the lake. That is going to affect aquatic life, fish, waterfowl, as well as the recreational possibilities here at the lake. We started working with the Water Hub back in 2017 to get all of our historical water level data and quality data into the Water Hub. We're in really strong support of the Water Hub. We think it's absolutely necessary for as many groups to participate, to have as much historical data that's available, open and accessible, so that researchers can start to draw some analysis, some patterns and trends from all of that data and look what the impact of climate change is on the Columbia Basin and the Kootenai River area. There are two ways the Water Hub can serve communities. It has the ability to store data that is collected by different organizations for the long term, ensuring that it is not lost. It also helps share data with anyone interested within our society. Data democratization is ensuring that data is available and accessible to everyone in society in a method that's easy to understand without technical knowledge. Having public data that's available to anyone with a cell phone or a computer helps to increase data democratization and helps to ensure that the decisions being taken on by policymakers are driven by data and information that's relevant to that watershed. Having reliable data that is regularly updated is just the first step on helping us make better long-term decisions in protecting our water resources. We know that just having more data isn't enough. It needs to be interpreted and understood properly to help guide decision making. So by having the data in a centralized location in an easy to understand manner, the Water Hub will help researchers, policymakers, and citizens make better and more informed decisions about our water moving forward. <laughs>